Hi there, it's Johnny from Recycle Up Standing Cornwall. It's been a while since I've put a video up. It's just a short video I show a hater mail that's just come in that I'm starting to work on. And some of the other bits and pieces have come in well, lately, really. I never know what's coming in from one day to the next, so there's always something different down here. I've always got lots of projects on the go. <laughs> As you know from a previous video, this is a I hate the harrier that's come into me, as you can say, it's in, as you can see it's in a bit of a bloody state, but it is complete. The deck's solid, the rear roller rolls freely, the bearings are fine in that. It's an electric start model. Um, it needs a lot of work on it obviously. The engine does turn over just about, but uh, it's pretty much complete. Got the grass bag and everything. So. This will be, uh, I'm not sure what that rusty ring is there, I think that might have been a, a blade plate, not for this type blade, but then you get the little short blades that fit on the disc, I think it might have been for that, but I don't know, it happened to be in the uh, in the bag, so anyway this will be on the list of things to do, uh, if you're wondering what that was, it's just a smoker that I'm building, a friend of mine bought in a couple of uh, empty barrels and I'd wanted to build a smoker for a long time so that's uh, this on the go and uh, not too much more to do and I've got to put it together and then basically set light to it to burn all the paint off it to start off with um, but that won't take too long to do uh, well, it's got other mowers here on the go Couple sitting over there waiting to be done. Oh, shelves full of engines, these strimmers up there. Uh, this is uh, another one, this one's ready to go. I've just got to re clean the, I've just got to clean the carb, put that back on. This was a, uh, well, these been, this, this engine I picked up for a tenner. One of the, someone local pulled it in there, my deck had rotted out, said, Did I want to buy the engine for a tenner? And done service on it, runs great. Um, I just need to re-clean the car about it. It was, uh, ran a couple of times fine and then started jumping about a bit so just cleaning that again. Um, what else have we got? Another engine down there. Got some mower bits. Another mower deck. All sorts on the go. But uh, yeah, that's a uh, smoker. I mean, uh, down here in the, living down here in Cornwall on the coast, you always get lots of fresh fish. So, I fancy doing some smoked mackerel or something like that. Very tasty. A couple of people have asked me what's happened to the, um, the 14 SB mower. I've done a couple of videos on it, that's the John Deere one. And I haven't put the rest of the videos on, as you can see been sitting here for a couple of years now it is a project waiting to go um, got all the bits for it apart from it needs four four new cables I think all the control cables were knackered on it so uh, I shall probably get onto this in a couple of weeks time and start putting this one back together and finish all the videos off for it so this is another project this came in all the panels or well, most of the panels broken on it and had holes on them plastic welded them all up, re-sprayed it, uh, this is waiting to be MOT'd now, um, yeah, little bikes direct moped 50cc, <coughs> picked it up for 90 quid I think it was, well my brother-in-law picked it up for 90 quid I should say, um, but, yeah all this fairing, I think it was this side, might have been the other side, I don't know, what one side, all this fairing was missing and I've replaced Placed all the plastic, and uh, on this side here there was a big hole in there, and that's all been plastic welded back up. So I ended up respraying the whole thing because it was a struggle to try and match the paint. But, uh,
few uh, fruit machines come in. He's uh, a friend of ours, does clearances, and uh, he had to shift them. Um, we uh, sold a few spares out of them, but I'm probably going to turn them into drinks cabinets, uh, or cocktail cabinets, put optics in them. Uh, again, another future project. And one other mower. So another one I'll just put back together. This was a back of the deck on this was rotted out. Um, I cut all the rust out, rewelded new metal in. This is all serviced, ready to go. Uh, it's up for sale at the moment. One thing that has happened over the last couple of months, we've got a nice new roof on our workshop, courtesy of our landlord. As you can see, it's a little bit later on, taking the engine and handles off the deck. Yeah, look, you can see the actual deck itself is really slow, no chips or anything in it. So by the time it's cleaned up, I've got to take all the wheel adjuster mechanism off and uh, the roller mechanism, a couple of uh, seized bolts underneath that. Well, seized, they're sheared off, so uh, a couple of them I've got to drill out, but that shouldn't be too much of a problem. So uh, the bearings in this. OK, these will turn freely, and the drive pulley turns freely. A bit of a strange drive system really. Cut that rear wheel where the engine is now. I've just got the pulley on the side of the engine where the drive belt goes. It uh, makes it easier to get at to, um, to change the belt no, without having to tip the mower over and stuff like that in general I suppose but uh, so it's a bit unusual this. most of them are driven from underneath well, this is with the deck stripped down and you can see the uh, inner part of the deck here this is where the roller attaches um, the bolt that I had to drill out uh, I drilled it out so this comes apart normally if you're stripping it down you just unscrew the bolts and then you can take the the roller out as a separate item but usually when you're stripping them down and they're in this condition it's never quite that straightforward it's a bit later on in the day and uh, as you can see stripped all the tin work off the uh, engine just see what there is or isn't um, I thought it was complete actually but the carburetor's not on it and although it's got a key start, there's no starter motor either, so uh, the starter motor probably not such a problem, is it? It's uh, just leave that off really. Um, one thing that I've got a couple of broken bolts, of course, like you do. One of the exhaust ones in there, which is never helpful. Something else on this, which is quite unusual. The state of the blade boss down there. A lot of the other bridge ones I've got there. Uh, aluminium bosses on them but that's obviously still the way it's rusted out so it's a bit unusual really and also there's like, the second coil here as well not sure what that's all about um, I don't know if that's something to do with the electric start if that's fitted because this wire is going down to where the starter battery would have been um, don't know about that, got to have a look at that yet Okay, there is one other thing, the uh, engine turns over freely obviously there's no spark plug in it at the moment um, it feels like there is compression there but it turns over freely and the dryer shaft all turns I'm going to take the head off anyway and replace the, um, the gasket <coughs> but I should probably end up stripping the whole engine down just to check there's nothing underwards inside it okay, that's the other thing, the exhaust has uh, rotted through as you can see uh, I need new exhaust, but I must have one of those lying around in there. So right, this is a few days later now. I've given the engine a bit of a clean up. Um, I don't know if you can see this hole here. Drill that bolt out of there. Um, I found the carburetor and I found the starter motor. I've rebuilt the starter motor because that was sea solid. Um, some water must have got in it. It just needed total clean up. It's got like a 
fuzzy bronze bearing in the bottom uh, that needed cleaning greased it all, put it all back together tested it on my car battery that works great carb will need a bloody good clean uh, what else oh yeah this bit I wasn't sure what it was um, this charges the battery for the electric start just like a coil but it puts the charge down into the battery to charge the battery up and had a bit of work on the deck it's got some extra primer on it or at least about three quarters of it <laughs> ran out of extra primer so I'm waiting for something to come in uh, but like I say the deck itself is no, it's cleaned up, jet washed off wire walled it off got it nice and clean um, you see the side there that isn't sprayed all came up nice and clean. I've got to do the underneath yet, but uh, I'll so I'll finish off with it more extra primer, and then I'll paint it the hater green. You can get the decals for them as well for the front. And what we've got here? Here's the the roller plate that goes underneath as well. That's had a coat of primer on it too. So another dollar. Tumble dryer come in this morning. This is Sunday morning, by the way. I tend to work seven days a week, whatever I choose, if I want a day off, I can have a day off. It's a joy of working for yourself, really. Uh, fridge or freezer, what's this one? Uh, fridge, this one. It came in this morning. Um, I've got a guy who does clearances locally. He occasionally drops stuff off to me. I know this cooker was here the other day. He's got hob now. And this cooker came in yesterday. I had to go and pick that up yesterday. And one more thing over here, this freezer come in, um, that was in use until yesterday, and you still see it's defrosting at the moment. Uh, that one came in from his sister, she's just moved and donated it to the cause. As I said at the beginning of the uh, video, it was just a quick update really on what's going on. As you can see, always a lot down here, um, so I never really know what's coming in from one day to the next. but. <laughs> always something different um, and the mowers that, like that uh, John Deere one that's been sitting around for a year I've got a lot of other mowers that come in that uh, maybe take half a day to sort out and then they get listed and sold and lots of other things going on I sell on eBay full time um, got websites on the go and things like that so sometimes I prioritise other things and uh, so you know, get stuff that is left lying around but um, once it's done always sells never any trouble selling it and even if it's part done sometimes people come down and offer me money, offer me money for, for what I've started doing they want to finish it off so just that's how it is so nothing set in stone you do what you have to do to make a living um, and that's what makes it interesting really anyway I hope you enjoyed the video hope you managed to last till the end of this if you didn't, you don't know what you're missing. Cheers, bye.